Welcome back guys to another episode of Hacks and Hunt. Today's episode we are going to be talking about the Easton Axis or sorry, the Easton FMJs up against the Easton Axis. I've been shooting the Axis for the last couple years. I did just pick up a couple FMJs to test out and kind of see how they're shooting up against each other. Um, so if you want to hear my opinion about both of these, then go ahead and stay tuned. So first up, let's talk about the Easton Axis. So it's a five millimeter diameter arrow, so it is kind of a, a smaller arrow compared to, right here I've got a, East, or sorry, a gold tip. This is a six millimeter, just slightly different. Um, so you're gonna get a little less um, wind drag if, there, you know, if there's wind coming across, and then you're gonna have a little bit more penetration just because there's not gonna be as much uh, friction as it's passing through that animal or uh, target or whatever. So I've shot two years, I think, three years, three years, this Easton Axis. I've really liked it. Um, they are pretty durable. If you hit something just direct on, like say I shot straight into a brick wall, they do hold up pretty well. Um, if you kind of deflect it off a rock or anything, they do tend to break. Like this one broke right above the um, insert. So this is the hit insert. So the insert's inside the shaft. So nothing is actually shown on the outside of the shaft. Um, and I've actually had, so like that one, I can't remember what I hit with that. That one broke. This one, where is it? right here so this one I'll show you guys how much broke off right there so it broke off right above that hit insert as well um, and I actually shot this one at a elk at 55 yards hit it straight in the shoulder blade and it snapped right there so I'm like crap who knows maybe you know just shooting because I do a lot of uh, target practice and stuff with these arrows and then I just go out and hunt with them so maybe I had hit something and it was cracked and broke off in the shoulder blade or something I'm not sure um, but anyway I have killed a couple deer with these it has worked really really well got really no complaints there um, and then going into these FMJs they're a little bit heavier a little bit more grains per inch you are gonna have to be careful pulling them out of the target because it is a metal jacket so you can bend them and it's gonna take that shape if you know if you bend it a lot or you know hit it from the side or whatever um, they have been performing really well I haven't shot them at far distances quite yet um, but they are a lot easier to pull out of my targets I've got the Morel uh, high roller target and this is the easiest one to pull out of the target so that is kind of a nice plus but let's see if I can show you guys this up close all right so if you look closely here right there in that shaft it's kind of chipped there chipped right there um, and that's I mean that's a pretty deep groove in that metal casing or that you know metal jacket that's wrapped around that carbon I don't know if that's gonna you know create a weak point and that's you know it's going to snap off but that's just from um shooting tight groups and then just having an arrow slap that arrow so that's kind of been the biggest thing that i've noticed lately it's just kind of like crap if you know can't shoot at the same target if you're going to be shooting tight groups because you are going to damage your arrows um i mean they do fly really good um i'm tr still trying to decide if i want to hunt with these this year I might end up and I'll just have to be careful with them not you know to shoot tight groups with them just kind of aim at a different spot on the target or whatever for with my hunting arrows um both have been four fletched both yeah you know both are great arrows um it's gonna kind of depend I think on 
what poundage you're shooting. So I'm shooting an 80 pound Hoi RX-1 right now. I will be changing to the VXR at 75 pounds. Um, but I think with a lower poundage bow, obviously you're gonna want a little bit of a lighter arrow possibly if you wanna get speed. If you don't care about speed and you want you know, a hard hitting arrow, you're gonna want a little bit more weight. So the weight differences do vary a little bit. This is 480 grains, and this just has the hit insert with a 100 grain tip, four fletch, uh, like a six inch, or sorry, four inch wrap. And then this one's four inch wrap with a little bit of a bigger fletching, same hit insert, and then same 100 grain tip. And this is 437 grains. So they're just about 40 grains, give or take, you know, a couple grains difference. Same size arrow as well. I think they're 29 inch arrows, I believe. 28, 29 inch arrows, 28 and a half. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I mean, don't really have any complaints about the Eastons. They have performed really, really well. I have shot Gold Tip in the past. They have been, you know, excellent arrows as well. But yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on these two arrows with the Easton Axis. This is the match grade, so that it is a straightness of .001 guaranteed. Um, and then this is just the FMJ this is the throwback um, But yeah guys, that's kind of my thoughts on these two arrows. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, If you guys want to see anything hear anything have any questions comments concerns anything comment down below Let me know give this video a like subscribe to my channel once I hit 3,000 subscribers I am giving away a Chocolate addiction Carter release so subscribe and then you also got to follow me on Instagram Just those two quick easy steps and then that will get you entered. Um, just trying to get to 2,000 followers on Instagram and trying to get 3,000 subscribers here on YouTube. But big thank you guys to all of you. I really do appreciate your support. But uh, that's all I have for you guys today. And we'll see you guys next time.